Hi everybody, my name is Snoot and I'm one of the community managers at Coffee Stain Studios and in today's video we're going to be looking at some baby photos for Satisfactory. Uh, <laughs> so a while back we shared on our Instagram, uh, by the way we have an Instagram, <laughs> check it out. We shared some snapshots, like some prototype builds when we first started working on the game back in like 2016 and we thought it'd be fun to share some of that footage with you all today. So uh, that's what we're gonna do essentially. Uh, now here's the thing. I joined Coffee Stain a bit later during production, so I wasn't there in the very early days of Satisfactory. So today I've got a little video assistant that's gonna help out and share some insight as to what, what it was like back in those days. So here joining me today is my boss, Stefan. <laughs> so, nice intro. <laughs> say hello. Say hello, say hello, hello Stefan. Hello, hello. I am uh, not a community manager nor a programmer at Coffee Stain Studios anymore. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. So yeah, Stefan is the CEO of Coffee Stain Studios, and he's one of the founders of Coffee Stain Studios as well. And yeah, back in the day, we used to work together on the programming team. Yes. Um, but now back we have back. different responsibilities. So Satisfactory started out as like a game jam game where we tried different game ideas. Uh, do you remember how like how many games we yeah made? I mean, it, it, during it, that game it jam, was quite a few. I think we had like five or six ideas that got some some kind of a prototype or a uh, like art thing tied to it. Uh, three games that we actually focused on after like the initial pitches. And Satisfactory and then was you one picked of them. this one. Yeah. It was the worst of the ideas, but we picked it. <laughs> I was gonna say like, <laughs> man, how bad were the other ideas? <laughs> <laughs> but that's been like a process for most of the games at Coffee Stain, right? Like Goat Stain was the same thing, right? Or yeah, yeah, we we had kind of the same process and. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the goat sim thing ended up being quite uh, different because that was kind of the the in-between uh, project that before we started right. the, the the big real project, which never happened. <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, we, we always had the process of having everyone join in, pitch in, and uh, just vote on what they want to work on, and then do prototypes, and yeah, just continue to work our way down to what everyone wants to do. So I'm going to jump straight into like, so this is the, when we dug up the builds, this is this is the first sprint. So the way we used to do, well, we kind of do it still, but we the way we used to do it more, so I'd say, is we would have sprints, so we'd work agile, and like the, each sprint would be kind of two weeks, I think, yeah. if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, that's correct. Um, so this is like the first two weeks or, or something, or like... Of developing the game and uh, yeah this is this is like the first uh, this is gonna be rough, of... <laughs> can Th this is rough because you can you can only place miners you can't switch buildings or anything like that we've got the default like unreal engine uh, like mannequin model with the hands first person um, you can place miners and I think yeah there's an inventory so you can, yeah, you see oh, that like classic like, burnt bacon stuff. icon that was with us for like three <laughs> years of development. At least, I, I don't know. It, that's just what we called it—the the burnt bacon. Uh, nice. Yeah, I was trying to like figure out like what the hell is this yeah. supposed to be? Like, I, I, <laughs> I, I think I this was like it could look a coal a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, but like you can you can pick it up and you have an inventory. So I have twenty in my inventory, and, and that's it. That's 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 all you could do. All this right. Is game. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Bye. But, but I, I honestly think this is super interesting and, and can maybe be a bit uh, motivating for uh, for uh, newer teams or studios. This this is actually what a team of 16 people could do <laughs> in two weeks. We could have a... It don't get better than this. <laughs> no, no. So, so don't feel ashamed if you're like, can't progress quick enough. Like this is yeah. two weeks. <laughs> So this is the second sprint, like, th there's been a little bit of improvement. You can now switch between uh, a small content. box and a big box. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the miner. Th we have a model for the miner, though, now. Oh, yeah. And animation, holy shit, this is rigged. <laughs> Look at I that. I love this miner. I, I love his, like, little, little hands, uh, like, pushing down the, the drill. Yeah, it's like holding it. What is this small box? Is this, oh, yeah, this conveyor. is conveyor belts. Yeah. yeah. So, no conveyor belt logic here, you can just place conveyor belts. Um, so I guess this is like the first work on the spline stuff. Let's give it out, Josh would have loved this. Because <laughs> there's absolutely no restrictions on this. Um, so yeah, that's that's the second sprint, so that's that's all the work we got done there. 
So oh. there's a huge leap between the second sprint and the third sprint. Because um, now we have more of an environment going on. You can see like the, the kind of rib looking things uh, that we still have in the game now. We have those like kind of structures. I don't know if these are based on those or not, but yeah, yeah, no, I mean, they sure look like them. Yeah. Uh, got this huge canyon and got jetpack. Um, and let's see here, which button is which? Wait, oh, it's B. Okay, so fun B fact. B for build the, menu. Yeah, build for build menu. So I think this is still kind of present in the game, but we used to have like a build gun that was like an actual like thing that you held. So every time you wanted to build, we still have that in the game, but it used to be like an actual like equipment. And you'll see that later in the, in the later build. Um, and dismantle was part of the build gun, and it still kind of is in the back end, actually. So every time you do dismantle, you're like equipping the build gun behind the scenes, even though you're not seeing it. So yeah, this is. I think this is the first build where you can actually get some kind of like logic out. You can't rotate the holograms yet, uh, but I can place a miner on whatever this is. Uh, it doesn't say. I think this is iron. Some kind of resource. If you yes. open the inventory, maybe you can see what it's gathering up. Or the, oh, I think we need had. Oh, we. I think we had power in this one. So you have the wind. Yes. Wind turbine. Yeah, people will love that. We, <laughs> so yeah, we did have wind power at like the first uh, couple of builds that we had. So we can just add so, it to the game now. It's fine. So yeah, how hard can it be? We already did it. Uh, and how do you do this again? Yeah, you should just. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So you you'd have to the power connectors. You had to aim at the power connectors to hook up the buildings back then. Um, which was very inconvenient. I'm glad we don't have that any anymore. Uh, and I think now we'll okay. get some. Look at that! It's you mining. Should be able to get like the uh, yeah the try and get an assembly line up now. Yeah. So another fun thing that we also don't oh, have in the game anymore so cool. is this conveyor <laughs> hub. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we do like a... we do have them, but uh, we realized like yeah, you don't need it to be as big as yeah. a building, and you don't need. 48 inputs or outputs. Yeah, or so this this is seven in and one out. <laughs> I also think the miners produce like way less, so I think there was more of a thought like maybe you want to have more miners on like a field or something like that. Yeah. Um, so you can hook these up and then you can have... We didn't have smelters yet. Uh, we have manufacturing plants. Oh. Whoops. Hopefully... You're right. Uh, hopefully... Wait. Uh. Wait. So yeah, it goes in here. And then you select the recipe, and the recipes are really strange uh, in these first ones, because there's no, like, iron, um... But I mean, iron this, ingot, here we go. I mean, this is the game. You're playing Satisfactory now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then, oh, this also needs power, so give me a power line. Can you connect and, the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, dude, back then you could, um, you could, uh, what's it called, serial... Uh, connect the buildings so oh, you can get okay, power okay. from nice. power from minor building to building so here we can see it's producing in the uh darth vader helmet <laughs> it's making iron ingots so yeah this is this is i mean this is the core loop essentially of the game right you find resources you find the things you set up production lines th things are running on on conveyor belts um and you produce items out of yeah. those things and i think like the prototype that we had was I guess, um, like visually, a lot better than than this prototype or the, like this sprint version here. But yeah. uh, when we started doing the actual game, we also put some time that like yeah, the conveyor belts need to have some logic that is actually scalable. So we kind of started from scratch and uh, redid things for how they could hopefully work in a bit bigger environment as well. So that's why things are added quite slowly. Okay, so now we're in sprint six. I think this is like when things had quite a drastic difference actually. Uh, and there's also a bunch of stuff we're trying out. Yeah, in a lot of areas. Yeah. Um, so this one has more map going on with it. There's more like um, like environment happening. Uh, it's not just like a canyon anymore. It actually has like a bunch of trees and foliage and stuff. But this one also has a pretty drastic difference in how like equipment is handled. So this one actually has equipment. So now we have three items here. You have a gun. <laughs> you have the build gun, which is like this pink with a red button. Um, Shout outs to Sanctum. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the pickaxe. Um, and and one thing you may notice here in when equipped the pickaxe is that there's a bunch of like mine lists to the left, 
And as I'm looking at, around in the environment, you get this like uh, list at the top right where it says like iron 38% and then copper 47. So this was a system where apparently you could mine anything. I could just mine the ground here and I'd get iron in my equipment. And if I want, I want to want copper, I'll just stand in the same spot. So that's interesting. <laughs> That's not in the game anymore. So it's just like the speed or the amount that you get, uh, depending on the percentage of the purity. Right. Okay. Of where you are. And I guess the. So there are there are nodes which are like a hundred percent. If you yeah look at that one. Gotcha. Was the like percentage in the environment was that procedurally generated or was that set? Uh no yeah and I think that this is uh, the first test we had with the procedural map overall. So so it was a system that we just tried to see if how it could work. Right. I do, I do remember us playing this sprint and having like a big discussion and this being the kind of fork with uh, can we do it procedurally or do we want to make it a, a handcrafted world or not. Oh shit, it's coming right for me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really good AI. <laughs> can he even hurt me? <laughs> oh, he has punch animation. So this is a little... Of course yeah. So this is an enemy from Sanctum, by the way, you guys, if you didn't know. So you can't actually kill it. Uh, I promise. Wait, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing ragdoll. There's like... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just turned into butter. So this is the first build that I saw with the workbench in it. Uh, and the workbench also worked a little bit different back in the day. Um, because the way you would do it is it kind of like looks like the Minecraft UI a little bit. Where if you want to create like a iron ingot, so you'd place it in like the 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 3x3 three three grid, and then you hold space to produce, or maybe not. No, sorry, I need to... Oh, there we go. There we go. I needed to, like, ho hover over it or something. So here we go, here's the ironing. It. The important thing isn't that, like, everything feels good, or, like, the UI and UX is, like, done or anything like that. The important thing is really, like, the game loop and, like, figuring out where what to pursue and stuff. So if there are, like, bugs and glitches, I mean, those are prevalent on these yeah. builds. But um, the important thing is that you kind of get the game, I would say. Uh, so I assume like when you if you make like more complex stuff you can like put stuff in the grid and yeah I think we just realized later on that I mean you're basically just taking stuff from your inventory and putting in this in this temporary right inventory in the workbench so like why have that extra stuff yeah. and not just um, choose them directly from the inventory I think this is a good example of like when you have an idea of something and you're like this this would be cool like this complex system and then I think that would be fun and then you try it out and you realize doesn't really make sense like it's it we like you just said why don't we just produce it from your inventory and that, instead of having like this weird grid situation um and it's one of those things where it's kind of hard to like envision that before you actually try it so so one thing that i thought was really interesting with this specific one when we talked about the the mining thing is that you can mine any, everywhere right when you place miners you can place them wherever you want um, so you got the same thing in the top corner there. Like you have three options here and like, oh, here's, here's, I get 50% stone here. That might be good. And then you walk up to the miner and you pick the recipe in the miner. And that, that blew my mind a little bit <laughs> that like miners had recipes back in the day. Um, so yeah, I could place a miner here and then I could place another miner here. This also, this version also has, you can spin the holograms. So now I can actually place them a little bit more. I want how I want them. And then let's build a smelter, because now we have smelters in the game. And they look like <laughs> faces. <laughs> I think this also like opens its mouth when it's like, let's see here. So let's hook up a conveyor belt here and then set a recipe. Does it have two inputs? Uh, yeah, it did. Interesting. I, th I think we used to have or maybe in a build before this, but we also had like coal inputs to everything before, even before we had the wind turbine, I think. Interesting. There we go. Okay. There's something with the menus where like it won't take the recipe unless you're yeah, correct. Yeah, especially like the, the first you need to go down and up, I, I guess. Um, we also have conveyor poles now. Uh, we didn't have that until this point. And then let's see, hook up belt. Got iron ingots. I think this is a constructor. That we now refer to as a constructor. So hook up that, and then we create iron plates. Iron plate. So out of iron ingots, we got the iron plates. 
what, what was that uh, machine called? Is it a manufacturing plant? Yeah, manufacturing plant, exactly. Yeah. That was also like an interesting time when we tried to define like, okay, so they're, they're not just manufacturer tier one, two, and three, but like that, that why is a constructor, constructor simpler than an assembler and an assembler is simpler than a manufacturer? Yeah. Like those, those words are just... Uh, they have they have no like hierarchy meaning in the way that they right. you kind of want in a game. Yeah, so that that was really hard to like <laughs> figure out what what can make sense and, and not. So yeah, this this is pretty much a basic uh, first production chain, and, and it's kind of fun to see like how this this chain still exists in the game to this day. Mm -hmm. um, and and we we didn't have any goal as of yet, right? There's no. Uh, hub trading post no in, in this version this yet. is all just like the construction setups yeah yeah um so, so apart from that we also have a coal generator um which is pretty much how we had it before update three where like you just feed it in coal i guess and then we'll give you power we also have a oil pump that you can also just place wherever you want and then we also have so we have the assembler here um and this is the old kind of look of the assembler. This is kind of looking like how the assembler used to look before we did the change in update two, was it? Yeah, yeah, because we had that big boxy thing yeah. actually in the early access version, right? <clears throat> I think so. I don't remember if we. I don't remember if we. No, we we did have launch with it. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, so yeah, this got the boxy look of it. Um, you can create steel ingots, uh, engines, engine. Wow, cool. Miniature engine. Oh, these, wait, wait. We gotta check out these things in the list here. Uh, AI controller chip, battery, cable, circuit board, drone chassis. Oh, we even had drone ideas back then, oh, huh? Yeah. We got it all figured out from like week eight. <laughs> no Pretty much. We got all the ideas. I like this version of the game. It was, it was fun to play it also. And it opened up a lot of questions for like how. Um, I mean, w with the, you being able to build everywhere and mine everywhere like what what scale is this game what what's yeah the, what, what's the kind of experience we want with the procedural or the like created world yeah the handmade because uh, here it's re really hard to uh, yeah to know what people will do and how they will build and uh, how they play the game but it, it has its ups and downs for sure i think it's very for interesting sure. check out the water very very cool <laughs> <laughs> There's stuff in here, in the water, like in the <laughs> lake here. Very cool. All right, let's jump into the next sprint. Yes. Oh, th yeah, it's this build. Okay, now I recognize it. Yeah, yeah so this is sprint eight. Um, and uh, now we have... Oh, yeah, this, it's this version where the menu is like in the world and stuff. Um, so now we have... You can bind... Whoa. I can have them all open at the same time. Perfect. Are you breaking it? So yeah, pretty much the same concept here. You have the build gun, you have the, the miner, and apparently the nail gun, which turn into that. Oh god, I've totally broken it now. Shit. Uh, <laughs> we have them all going at the same time. Perfect. <laughs> this is so funny because the way I've had it right now, it looks like I'm shooting the foundations into place. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is the first time they were at it. Uh, same thing. Oh, yeah, did then goof. So uh, yeah, the foundation system also kind of works pretty much the same. I think this is also the same kind of system that we always had. Yeah, and and, and uh, this is also, I guess, built on the foundation that we've uh, had from our previous yeah, games. Pardon the pun. I'd, I'd say a lot. A lot of systems are f uh, from uh, Sanctum doing the Sanctum yeah. series. Yeah, like the the equipment, the build gun, uh, the building system. But this is neat because now you can actually like get unspaghettify your builds and stuff, so now we can have straight yeah. conveyor belts going. In this build, yeah, the map is more akin to it's it's like starting to take shape more, I would say, because the other maps just feels like we just threw shit together. But here you get a little bit of level design uh, going into it, a little bit more like sense of exploration, like what's going on over here. We got some gas situation going on here. Oh, what the? <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> So yeah, when you take damage, you just like... Oh, I'm, I'm getting punched! <laughs> yeah, and the gory visual oh, uh, feels so well. good. It's so good. Oh. And uh, so now we're, we're back at... Resources left. Yeah, so this has got finite resources. So if I start mining this... 
<sighs> it's got 4,704. Three. So the notes weren't infinite back in the day. I wonder if the recipes are similar. Let me just boot up a, what's it called? Manufacturing plan. Uh, no, they seem pretty similar. And they are pretty similar to how they were in the game. Uh, how they are in the game right now too so we haven't made too many changes um so yeah let's let's jump into the next iteration so i think this is another iteration on what we just saw um but now we have vehicles oh look at that chunky look boy look at that uh so i assuming this is like the oh we also have a different character model now yep and the compass yeah look at that some uh some visual work on the ui yeah can we drive this around? Can't move the camera in the vehicle, but we can drive around. Look at this drift. This is it's a lot of drift. Oh yeah. Oh, you have the scanner now. Yes. The scanner we've had for a while, actually. I just haven't used it. This is, let's see what it looks like in this version. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same. So it should like highlights. Yeah, so in this, you can see the spikes here. They don't show up in the compass yet, but you can see. And they like different color depending on what kind of uh, resource they are. Um, so you'd have to know that green is stone, maybe? Okay, so yeah, this this is the one of the first builds with the trading post. So here we post. have progression, yeah. So this is, what, this, is, uh, this is the hub, you guys. This is what the hub uh, used to look like. Uh, oh, we got the interact. It highlights like the, uh, it does the outline thing now. Um, ooh, a lot of different, like the menu is very different now. I wonder if uh, now is when uh, Natalie joined us, mm. that actually worked with the UI and we just had the programming uh, yeah. <laughs> block Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff happening here, like the, the description thing and like animations. Yeah. So, real quick explaining what's going on with the trading posts. So, there used to be a system in Satisfactory where progression was based on you like selling parts that you were making um and that was the the like progression so you the way you equip or, or the way you unlock more things in the game is by selling and then buying um the the recipes and the resources stuff like that so like if i want to get the jetpack i have to buy it with two thousand rubles and everything i yeah, had a uh was worth something so you could sell your ammo or stone bricks or whatever. So let's sell some cable. Oh, did you have a portable miner? Sure did. How do you sell? Sell! Sell, 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 sell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't it? Oh, does it need power? Is that the Oh, uh, maybe that's thing? what it is. Sell. Oh, oh no, uh, it's gone! No, yeah, oh yeah. Oh wait, I have money now. Yeah, yeah, you got the cool, resources. Cool, cool. So wire. Yeah, that makes sense. So so you can also like automatically sell stuff. So you can hook up like mm. um, if you're producing iron plates, you can hook it up to the trading post and you automatically be selling those plates as they go. Yeah. Uh, and then now I have 400. I can buy factory organization. So this is kind of like the MAM. Uh, sorry, the um, awesome shop a little bit. Uh, yeah, right. So now my list of, of items here in the build menu has increased. So now I can place foundations. All right. Put him on the hand slot. Little, little, little guy. Place him on the node. There he is. Look at him go. <laughs> He's so cute. The uh, the portable miner and the different like hand mining systems was really a... We changed a lot in that and tried many different iterations of it. It was kind of hard to decide like how slow should you be with mining how fun is it to pick up things uh, and that's why we tried to like give the player one portable miner from start so that they like could go and do stuff and still get some resources so yeah what this is, is this? sprint 20 this is what was it almost a year of development this is like 40 weeks or something yeah. um so uh, now things are truly kicking into third gear, or fourth gear, or fifth gear, or whatever. Because uh, now the game is in third person. Yeah, the the map looks uh, like it's got a lot of yeah for sure work on it. Uh, this area, I legit know exactly so where it's at. So yeah, this is very different. Like now it's longer first person. I think you can switch. I don't know which button it is. I think we actually disabled this right. it for this build because this was the the do or die decide is this a first gotcha. person or a third person game. So we really wanted everyone to to try it out, and then we had a, a long discussion of what we wanted to do. Very cool. 
Um, so yeah, the map is taking shape. Now Now you can actually tell that it's like the, the actual map in the game. Um, so same kind of procedure here, like the first, the only thing you have when you start off is the uh, trading post. Um, so you place that. And then, this is a little specific, you, you have to like, uh, interact with a very specific, oh maybe not, there it is. There's like a workbench here on the trading posts now, which is like a old school <laughs> work workbench. Um, where you make the, the, oh it's got the sound effects that we kind of have in the game now. This is actually a final sound effect. This is one we have. And I mean, now the the scenes are starting to look yeah. uh, familiar. Now you probably recognize more the end version of Satisfactory as this. This though is a bit different. It it is different, but still still honestly right. kind of the same. This kind of really shows how how different feel you can get by just the the visuals. But I mean, underneath it's still like the inner circle is the you know tier one, and it, it goes out uh, to higher tiers. So it's just a yeah. presentation that is the, the big And I difference. have my notes, you refer to this as Tech Onion. Yeah. The Tech Onion, yeah, you can scroll to like get, uh, I think, show further out in the in the Onion. Oh, maybe not this version, maybe later. So yeah, this is, uh, this is how you no. would unlock schematics, and this is what you see here what you get. This is, the time thing is still in the game. This is like, when the ship goes away, it takes this long until you can like, unlock the next uh, schematic. This version removed the the money system, so there's no longer rubles in the game, which is, uh, I guess, also a sanctum reference that we call them rubles. So we got the tractor. This is pretty cool because this is pretty much what the tractor looks like now. Oh, you can go on underneath the map. Very nice. <laughs> so here's the uh, kind of old. Look, we got the build effect now. Very cool. Biomass burner. Look at that. So, no more uh, wind turbines. Wind turbines. Now you actually have to collect biomass, which also we kind of glossed over it a bit, but you can now pick up foliage uh, somewhere here. I think these are ripe to be the picking. Or maybe not. Oh, there we are. I think we enabled more and more things to be able to, like, be able to pick up. And then we go back to the biomass burner, and then chuck that in there. Fuel! Yum yum yum! And hook up some power line. Still had the uh, system of... Uh, you had to connect it to the connector. That, yeah, was, that was... Yeah, quite like, quite holy shit. <laughs> but it, it's so... I mean, like, when you're into it and uh, like all of these small quality of life things since you know so well how to play it you, you yeah. don't think about it, it it's uh, it's kind of when you first introduce it to someone else that's like i can't connect this thing uh, at yeah. all what, what's happening that's when you realize that you're just oh, okay we kind of need to focus on on the on the quality of life things and making things actually and those are also usable. things that like you probably don't do that the first couple of sprints when you're working the game you're probably later down the line when you're actually yeah curious about like the first time user experience and stuff like that when people are trying out your game and and like you know see if they figure out what's fun with it you need to show the trophy the trophy yes i don't know what that is. <laughs> this is a tiny ass <laughs> <laughs> what is this by the way I don't know. I think it might be a uh, like small sign of life from the previous project, the one we were supposed to do uh, mm, uh, after Goat Sim. So, so now we're on Sprint 23. Uh, now we actually have a menu for the game. We actually had this menu for quite some time. And this is the first version. I think this is the version that I played for the first time. Did, did we have the title here? It, it was on the front end. Satisfactory. Was it? The, um, I just saw it. it's called Factory back. Game up there, so... <gasps> yeah, Look at yeah, that, okay. yeah! So this is I, also... I don't remember when was the first time. Well, some sometime between 20 and 23, apparently. Uh, Alright, so it, we're back to first person now. God, I remember this compass so well, because that was like one of the first things I did was remove that compass. Or remake it to fit with like the new style that we have now. We got enemies! We got hogs! Oh, I'm pretty sure you worked on these, right? Yep. 
Let's see if they attack me. So it's gonna look at you. These are pretty much the the version we have right now in the game. The model and everything. Oh, they do the yeah. circular thing. I thought that was way later. This guy is having tr issues. <laughs> He's, like, better not come He's here. not quite feeling it. I got uh, you, man. Whoa, shit! This this version, by the way, has like one of the things that I'm so glad we got rid of. We have a stamina bar in this version of the game. Ooh. So when you're sprinting, it it like uses up your stamina. I usually hate stamina bars in game in general. Uh, so like if I run too too much, my stamina runs out and I can't run anymore. And it takes forever to load up for some reason. Um, so yeah, more work. I, we have like enemies now. We have environmental um, lighting. So we start off during the nighttime and now it's... This is the thing I was referring to before. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? It's the little guy, not the little anymore. Something's watching. Oh god. So scary. This freaked me out when I played this this version the first time. I was like, what is that? So the build menu is still on B. It's The build menu is still uh, uh, like this... A bit uh, sleeker. It's a bit sleeker. It's very yeah. s sort of same kind of um, ordering, uh, using tabs and and you know organizing everything through different like sub menus. Um, the way we have it now though is we flipped it so that the the tabs aren't at the top anymore; they're on the side, so it's a sidebar thing. Uh, but it's still kind of the same system though. I also forgot to mention this, but the, the this alt thing has been in the game since like the third iteration or something. I forgot to show that, but uh, the ping system has been in the game for like a long time. And I, I think we had, like imported that from Sanctum too. Right. Trains. Uh, what? Oh wow, it's like old school. <laughs> 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 wow, that's so funny. Oh yeah, you're right. Wait, how do I? Snapstate. Okay. Oh cool, but, interesting. Uh... Ah, oh, okay, and then the arrows for which uh, is uh, gotcha, gotcha. load and unload. And then... See, we had some UX skills back then. Big uh, arrow, look at this, this train! Way. Holy shit, I've never seen this before! That looks what so goofy. Can, can you drive it? Uh, let's see. Yes! Oh, yeah, yeah. See, why did it take so long to get trains? We had them <laughs> from the start. What the fuck? <laughs> this is amazing. I, I really like the old school track, though. Yeah, 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 for sure. Why would you, why did we remove that? That was that was the biggest mistake we ever did. Speed sign. What is this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we had signs back then, <laughs> and then we removed them. Uh, got truck station. This is very similar to. Sorry, I'm just building everything in the same place. This is a mess. Very cool. So this is Sprint Twenty Six. Same kind of menu. Yeah, a little bit more vibrant. Yes. So let me correct myself. This is the first version I played of the game. Uh, now that I look at it. So now you can see you got more like you can pick up more foolage. You can actually even pick up trees. <laughs> Just pick them up. <laughs> uh, this is what the uh, pale berry, berry bush berry bushes used to look like. They used to have this like kind of looked like a snail. So same area as before, it's just more vibrant, got more like more saturated colors. And if I use the search thing, which is now on a different button. Oh wait, oh this oh 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 that's why it's not working. Because in this version you have to pick uh what you're searching for. So uh back back then you would just press the ping button, it would just ping. Um and you would ping everything. So now you can actually pick what you're looking oh, yeah. for. So I'm searching for iron ore. And I think you guys were... Yeah, you see them on the, in the Yeah, world. and I think you guys will recognize this area once we get down here. You can totally tell that this is this area. Uh, with the arch and everything and the, the little lake here. So this area's got like copper. Uh, it's got iron ore over there. And... Uh, and some stone, I think, as well. Yes. Uh, like on the other over side here, here of the yeah. lake. Over there, here. yeah. Uh, and this version still has the finite resources. Uh, we have the vein purity here as well. Uh, but you could run out of resources here. I don't think I've ever played long enough to actually run out of resources, though, but maybe you, you did. Yeah, I mean, it isn't that much when you think about how big factories people uh, build in yeah. the game now. <clears throat> so the miner now looks try, try, try this looks like, like the actual miner in the game now, so we've made more iterations on this. 
So I'm pretty sure in this version, there's two types of smelters. There's like a Mark II smelter that has... We've we've always had this like two inputs in the smelter, and I think uh, we added like a regular smelter and like a more advanced smelter. This is this turned into the foundry essentially, even though it's called Mark II smelter. This is the foundry. Yeah. Um, Can you also build like the trading post or a workbench? Yeah, same model with the yeah. workbench here. Yeah, and you uh, go to the workbench and do some hand crafting. Oh yeah, and you press. So this is this is the oh. break your finger yeah, yeah, yeah. version. Click to produce. <laughs> I think it's the same thing on on when you pick up uh, when you mine as well. I think it, it was so fun. Like when we were playtesting like these early versions, and you could just hear like everyone like. <laughs> <laughs> but we used to have also an early version where when you were mining, there was like a mini game where there was like a spinner, and then you would press in the middle to be able to get like as much mining as possible and I'm so glad we don't have that because that sounds hella tedious. I think in this version you can also switch between yeah third person and first person. Um, so in this version you can be like what does it look like I'm running here and the character also looks very different compared to what they look like now. And here, here it is okay zoom and yeah so here's one I can't zoom oh there we go so here's here's a much bigger tech tree it's a bit buggy with uh, oh Onion. Tech yes. onion. If Here's you the tech onion. So yeah, there's a bunch you can get assemblers. Electric foundation. Ooh, cool. Um quartz crystal, which is now referred to as the slugs in the game. So here we got another basic production line. If you, if you squint, it's still the same game. Yeah, kinda. It's it's a lot more cartoony um in this version. Yeah, I mean the visual style of the game has changed a lot. And I mean sometimes it's just uh, a lot of temp assets that uh, are, are thrown into that that's just uh, stays for way yeah. too long. Uh, and that's kind of how it is right now in early access, right? There's a bunch of stuff where it might seem out of place to you guys or, you know, like that some something's missing. And that is because we're working on the game. Some cases also where because the game has been under production for so long, that some things that were actually like, yeah, this is done, this is 1.0 final. And then two years later, looking at it compared to all the new stuff being done, like, yeah, maybe we need to <laughs> look at this. <laughs> so let's try and build a little house here as well before we end. We got to check out some of the cosmetic options we had back in the day. So look at all these walls. We got the jelly pad is apparently a cosmetic. That is like pretty much one to one what we have right now. Uh, we got ramps. We got floor types. Oh, we got this mesh floor type that I can't even place for some reason. Mega foundation. Big ass foundation. And then walls with the door. So yeah. Imagine what you could do with this. So, that was the early development of Satisfactory. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Um, did you have fun, Stefan? Taking back? Yes. Yeah. For sure. And I mean, this this was uh, looking at the first year of development only. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of things happening. Yeah, a lot of things happening, and it's 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 interesting to see like how the speed of development. Where like the first couple of sprints, as you guys saw, like nothing much happened. It was like just super basic, and then suddenly like things are coming into place, and you sort of recognize in the game. And then the last couple of sprints, you know. A lot of stuff happened. And also, I mean, I, I think it really shows how how strong the core has been. And we didn't we didn't look at the, the actual prototype now, but uh, it really goes back to, to that one. Yeah. With, you know, the, the factory building and uh, that part hasn't really changed that much in, in concept. Yeah. That's probably not going to be the case with, I don't know, uh, probably with the next game we make that there's that a clear thread of what we want to mm. do. Uh, so it's been kind of fun to at least have that very strong core to always, to always lean back on. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. This is probably a really long video because we went through a lot of different iterations. Uh, so if you manage to stick it out to the end, let me know in the comments. Like, oh, Snoot, I made it. Cool. Then I'll know. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks, Stefan, for joining in, helping out. Yeah. Sharing. Thanks for having me. Sharing your insight. Like and subscribe and press the bell icon <laughs> below. Blah blah blah. My little video assistant is doing his job perfect. All right. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will see each other in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.